diverse areas of mushrooms, many edible, many poisonous. Not many poisonous, you gotta know your mushrooms. But anyway, so you were asking about the Amanita, another point is to point out, these are the vulval patches that I was talking about. You see, those are the patches as it develops out of that egg stage yeah. that are left behind of the vulva. So those are the remnants of the vulva as it uh, opens up. So this is another Amanita, one of the many. Everybody wants to know chanterelle, one of the most common mushrooms to learn. This is a smooth chanterelle. Chanterelles actually don't have gills. These are considered folds, which I had been pointed out. But uh, it's kind of a little bit old, but that's a smooth chanterelle, a delectable edible. Yum, yum. Much bigger than the small, I believe we had chanterelles or cantrellus minor earlier. Um, but, so I learned that. But just checking out right here, growing within this, these beautiful violets, a little bit of dicanthelium. This could be a philipterous fern, a little bit of blackberry right here. But check out these bolites. And uh, there's a few of them around here. I'm going to sacrifice one in the name of science. I almost hate to do that. But look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Look how meaty that is. Gigantic. So this is a bolete, or at least in the boletaceae. And if you look at the stipe or stem, that's called reticulation. That's reticulate stem. <clears throat> a little bit of brownish on the top, but very yellow throughout. So this would probably be a pretty easy one to key. So, um, one, this is likely, I'm, well, no, I'm not going to teach you tricks. But just to show you, I'd probably eat this one. Now if I open it up, let's see if it changes color. So I open it up. And it appears not to be changing quickly. Now it still can change over time, but some will change in crazy blue, like almost instantaneously. So these are the tubes that make this a bolete. It's different than a polypore, although they're similar. Um, and uh, so anyways, it's not changing blue and yellow throughout. How about I name this one Boletus flavus? That's my guess because flavonoids, all these yellow, in, uh, flav, flav means yellow basically in the scientific jargon world. So Boletus flavus, I'll probably be wrong. I'll take a little nibble at it. Hmm. A little bit of acronyms, but not much at all. No, it's pretty good. I'd probably eat it, if I were hungry enough. But um, yeah, so it'd be interesting to figure which one out that, you know, which mushroom this is. So, you know, am I killing the mushroom? What am I doing when I pick a mushroom? You know, there's a lot of like, oh, you shouldn't be picking the mushrooms. Well, one, these aren't out very long. These are the fruit of the mushroom that have this mycelial network, right? That's in symbiotic relationship with these trees. And they help them all out. So, you can see there's patches of them coming up in here. So the mycelium is the majority of... of uh, the mushroom, and this is just the fruit of the mushroom living organism that's in the symbiosis with these trees. So, so anyways, beautiful, beautiful mushroom. Much more you can talk about mushrooms, but just so you know, boletes grown out of the ground, you know, vice a polypore, and you can see the tubes. They have a different cellular structure, monomictic cell structure, vice trimictic cell structure, not a polypore. Yada, 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 yada. Boletes.